Hello and welcome to another commentary by Jim. Here's a special video for you guys. This is a video response to Ken Burton's What a Dick video. So I recommend you to check that video first. But uh, anyway, the gameplay I have in the background here is TDM, Modern Warfare 3, and Team Deathmatch on the map Bakara. And for some reason my friends managed to convince me to prestige again and now I'm like level 12 f first prestige. It's kind of stupid that I prestige but I didn't like the emblem anyway and it's nice to prestige at least once in every Call of Duty game. Uh, but I'm not gonna prestige any more than this. So, yeah, that's something else. This is epic kill though. First blood. But anyway, what I wanted to tell you about is... Uh, I started getting emails from a woman. Uh, actually, I... Uh, uh, the reason why I got emails from her was that... Apparently she found me on... Uh, the website roosterteeth.com this is a website for like achievement hunter and stuff like that it's i love that website but then that doesn't matter i had just recently made an account on that wi uh, ch uh, website and uh, suddenly i got this message from her on the website and she found my email through that and uh, her first email like she went into depth on her very first email Th that was quite hilarious oh look at this fail Bam. Died. There's two bloody claymores there. I didn't expect that. But anyway, uh, she sent me an email telling me that she was apparently... Um, uh, her father was rich. He he owned a diamond... Uh, diamond... What is it? Oh, I can't... No, diamond... Diamond... Yeah, sh he owned a place where you could dig up diamonds, basically. I couldn't, can't remember the English word of it. But that doesn't matter. Um, so basically what she was telling me was that her father owned a diamond thingy. Well, yeah, I'm repeating myself. But, but anyway, and she she wanted to get out of there because her father was recently killed. She is convinced of it that she, he was killed. And uh, that was because of the diamonds. And uh, that sounds pretty plausible, doesn't it? Like someone kills other people in Africa over diamonds. Yeah, that sounds pretty plausible to me. But anyway, um, and she said she wanted out and she liked me. This is the first time she's speaking to me and she said she liked me and she wanted to marry me for some reason. Like, she didn't care who I was, she just wanted to marry me so she could get out of the country. And. And I have to remind you, I was 15 at this point. Like, I think I was around 15, 14, yeah, 15, 14 years old. And, like, a African woman that's 23, 25, she wanted to marry me. And she was trying to lure me with diamonds and everything. She just wanted out of the country and she didn't care about the diamonds. And oh my god, this sounded so awesome, you know. I was gonna get rich, I was gonna get laid, I was gonna get everything. <laughs> Teenage boy's dream, you know. Even though I'm not really into black chicks. Um, she was uh, looking... She looks pretty. She, because she sent me... In her second email, she sent me uh, a picture. But d don't let me fool you, fool you guys. I wasn't fooled by this course not. Like, even though I was 15 and horny as bloody hell, I was not fooled. I could see straight away that uh, this was uh, a spam email, because this was way too well planned. And when I sent a response, she didn't answer any of my questions. And uh, I also told her, hey girl, I'm actually 15, so I'm, I can't really marry you, and stuff like that. Like, and yeah, uh, uh, that basically would have stopped uh, anyone sending emails, but she kept on sending emails. I got like five emails from her, and and, and every email had a new picture of her, and this was getting sh like kind of crazy for me. So I tried, I went into Google and googled her name, and I actually found out she's real. Like th this woman that was sending me emails was real. Uh, I was getting just more and more bewildered of is she is there actually a african an african woman that wants to marry me and give me diamonds and all i had to do to do to marry her was send her my bank account details 
Um, I must say, I was kind of, uh, kind of, uh, oh, failed me there. But I was kind of tempted to actually do this, go on with it. Uh, because, like, my, my bank account would probably not have any money on it. Uh, anyway, so why not send her my bank account details? But, in the end, like, I, I, I kind of ended up telling my parents about this. And of course, <laughs> my parents, <laughs> they told me straight away this was just a scam and uh, told me to uh, to s just say to her to stop sending me emails. And uh, so I told that to her. But she sent one more email for some reason. And in every email, it just got more and more like... <laughs> I would say, the, the people that started the spam email thingy, they had a great, uh, great imagination. Because these, like, I I couldn't stop reading them. They were so interesting. Uh, like, it could have been a movie. Like, it's so good. Uh, I, I think I actually still have the emails on my uh, email account. Uh, but... Uh, I have like hundreds of emails, so I can't be bothered looking through them right now. But anyway, <laughs> I, it's it's amazing how much people go through just to scam one person of uh, for money, and it doesn't need to m be much money either. But I I keep on getting surprised over how creative uh, these spam emails get. There's another one. Where there was like a two hour video I got once from a site. Uh, two hour video of saying like um, how you uh, could earn money off this uh, program. And I must say, I was really tempted to try it out, but it was, it's so clearly a scam. But anyway, he was telling me one hour story about something, some bullshit, and it, it just got more and more interesting. But anyways, like, my point here is that you shouldn't be, sc uh, be scammed by an email or anything like that, even though it's very creative, because these people can get really creative just to lure one person out of money. So that's my story of uh, getting spam emails, and I have a couple of more, so... Uh, those are mostly sexual though. I keep on getting emails from a Canadian pharmacy about enlarging my penis. But anyway, that's different story for different time. Anyway, see you guys later in another episode. No, no episode, what I'm talking about. Another commentary by Jim. Bye bye!